guys, I'm Taylor or Tabby Tabaxi. I am soundproofing a floor today. This is my new office space and I'm getting it ready for all the loud things that I wanna do, like talking to a camera, light streaming, listening to some music, having a pleasant conversation. Those are all things that aren't very loud, but I'll tell you why it's a problem. I work in the evenings after my babies go to bed. My babies are right in the room below me. Because of that, not having a very well insulated floor is a problem because sound transfers absolutely perfectly from this upper floor room to the lower floor room below me. Perfectly. Also, I'm setting up a voice booth for my voice acting and various other hobbies, and that is definitely incompatible with baby naps. So I have to do something with this floor. I think that most people who want to soundproof a room, like a second story room, are more concerned with footsteps, like an impact noise and, and footstep noises. Not me though, I don't really make footsteps. I don't really mean to brag, but I'm tiny and agile as a wood elf. I don't do footsteps. I creep around the house like a silent little creep. But my high-pitched little voice is audible no matter what I do. <laughs> it kind of negates my stealth. So what do I do about it? I had no idea at first, but then I spent like a couple days just trying to learn as much as I could about sound and soundproofing rooms, soundproofing rooms and materials and how they impact sound. And it's really complex, but I did my best to learn as much as I could about it. And I say soundproofing with the little finger quotes because true soundproofing like is a lot of work. Like real soundproofing. To do true soundproofing, you would have to do like a, a floor renovation and mess with your joists. And you'd have to do so much just with the building of your room. But I can't do that. I can't be destructive to this room. So the method I'm, I'm doing isn't like true soundproofing. I'm trying to make an impact in the noise. Like a substantial impact. My goal is to take the crystal clear sound transfer down below and just muffle it. Just reduce it and muffle it and turn it into a distant murmur. That would make me so happy. The first thing I did was a sound test. I wanted to try to get like a baseline number that I could then compare to after I did everything to be able to see like how much, how, what percentage was I able to reduce? I'd be a big nerd about it. That I could then compare to the room after the treatment was done. In my sound tests today, I have something called a decibel meter. Um, which I basically turn it on, it's gonna tell me the decibel level of this room, like the ambient noise level. The ambient level of sound in this room. Now I'm downstairs in my kid's room. Um, the office is above me, and I'm gonna test the ambient noise level down here too. 35.1 or 35.2 is what it's hovering around. I ended up taking a Bluetooth speaker. I found a background noise video of people talking and I cranked it up as loud as it will go. And I took a little decibel meter and I measured the decibels. And then I went downstairs and I measured the decibels down there too. Okay, I turned on like this weird back, like people talking background noise. And I turned it up as high as it'll go. 75 to 76 decibels, it's kind of going around. Now I'm downstairs in my kid's room with that noise happening upstairs. 40 is what it's hovering around down here, but it's very audible. Just that noise of people talking is so clear. It's so clear down here. But my camera shotgun microphone wasn't really picking it up so I could show the camera what I was hearing. It was isolating me too well. But what you can't really hear is just how crystal clear this audio is coming through the floor. So I'm not sure if I did like this preliminary little audio decibel test very well, but it's, it's something at least. I don't know what else to do. You might just have to rely on my description. I think it's time to actually get some work done. The first product that I'm gonna be using on the floor is something called Peacemaker. It's back here. See this rubber roll behind me? This is it. This is a recycled rubber product. It's a really thin layer of a really heavy, very dense rubber, a recycled rubber product. From all the stuff that I've been learning lately, speaking noise is a, you know, it's a vibrational noise. It's a wave that travels through the air. And this recycled rubber roll is supposed to help disrupt that. 
So this Peacemaker has an STC rating of 19, which is a rating system of how well building materials reduce airborne sound. These ratings are tested in labs under like ideal conditions though, so the actual sound reduction in like a practical application will probably vary. I just hope it'll absorb some of my high-pitched little sound waves. So adding this dense, heavy mass to the floor underneath the laminate flooring should definitely do something when it comes to sound transfer. It'll totally do something. So I'm really hopeful and I just have to get this down on the floor. I'm gonna have to cut it to accommodate the floor vents and also the floor outlets. Before I go around monkeying with outlets and unscrewing outlets, um, I'm gonna go turn the power off to make sure that I don't die. Also, I have a little voltage meter right here just to make sure that it's 100% off because I like living. Also, the doors to my soon-to-be vocal studio are gonna have to come off so I can extend the flooring into the little vocal studio. Can't wait to get this going. I'm probably gonna end up replacing these doors and replacing them with like a solid core door. Not only because solid core doors are just better with sound treatment, but because this floor is gonna be increasing by about three quarters of an inch and these are, you know, expensive custom doors and I don't wanna mess with these doors. I'm trying to be non-destructive. So I think I'll just replace them. So I got to work that night just getting this really dense, heavy rubber peacemaker layer out of the boxes and getting it all cut up and ready um, to work with because they're really heavy and really big and awkward and I'm just, I'm pretty small. I actually had a really hard time just like trying to get them out of the boxes and trying to maneuver them around the room. It was, it was, it was a good workout. I also spent time measuring out lengths that I would need and cutting them out. I just focused on getting some good progress done on putting this peacemaker down and I was cutting out the holes that I would need to accommodate my vents and my floor outlets. And that was, you know, kind of tedious and it took a while and I'd have to cut around corners and that kind of thing, but I was happy. I was just listening to my, you know, my Dungeons and Dragons podcasts in my headphones and just having a great time. <sighs> so I have two thirds of the room done now, but then I, have, I need to do one more strip and a little extra. But this one's a little bit harder because I have a bunch of outlets that I'm gonna have to measure and event, like many outlets. Ah? I can measure stuff. A good amount of time has passed now. I'm exhausted, it's super late, it's bedtime. But I'm rather proud of myself though. My entire room has the first layer down, except in the closet where my voice booth is going to be, I haven't put that piece of rubber down yet. I have it perfectly measured and cut out right here. You can see it looks really, really nice. Ugh. This is a lot of work, but I hope it's all worth it. I'm sure it will be, but like it's midnight. I still have to go do laundry and dishes and there's just so much to do. It's the next day again. The baby is sleeping, so let's try to finish up this rubber stuff. Um, fits pretty well. I wish it were a little more snug here. Luckily, this rubber stuff has a little bit of elasticity to it, so I can push and pull and kind of bully it into place. I think I did it. I think I can finally move on to the next step. This was so hard to do just kind of by myself. It feels good though, it feels good to get that done. I'm in my flannels and my sweatpants and my mismatched socks and I don't care, I feel good. I'm happy with this. You can see that the entire floor has this nice dense rubber layer on it. All the outlets and the vents are really nicely cut out and they're fitting really great. This is, this is awesome. I got the voice booth fitted in today and it looks really nice and I'm really happy with how it's been turning out. I can't even describe how happy I am. Like I feel proud. This is something I've never done before. This isn't a project I've never attempted before. I've just been trying to teach all of it to just find to myself. It might not be such a big deal to some of you viewers out there, but I'm still excited. Tonight I'm gonna take time to measure and cut out my underlayment. This is an underlayment that goes under laminate floors. It's a vapor barrier, it's more soundproofing, um, and it's what I'm gonna use. This underlayment was like an absolute joy to work with in comparison to the difficulty level of the Peacemaker. It was so nice and easy. I have completed everything. Well, not everything. I've completed the step where I do the underlayment. Next up, now I can finally start working on my laminate flooring. But I'm so excited, I'm just getting this close. I'm getting this close. It's a couple days later, I finally got some time to go out into my garage tonight and rip 
my very first row of the laminate planks. So now I think I can finally get started on the laminate, which is the very last part of this entire project and I can't wait. This is like the most nerve wracking part because if I get this wrong, it's the most expensive mistake ever. The process of putting down the laminate floor was intimidating at first, but um, I feel like there's a bit of a learning curve to it, but once you have it down, it's, it's actually pretty simple. Frustrating at times, but pretty straightforward. I really like the color of the floor that I chose. It, it really complements like the walls and the chinking between the logs, and I feel like it's just really nice and it brightens up the room. It took me so long. It took me so long and so many nights, but I did it. I did it. I'm so happy right now. Now I'm just gonna do the little final touches. I'm gonna put some backing foam in the gap, quarter round on my T moldings, and I think I'm gonna be done. I actually sealed the edges, the, the quarter round, with silicone just in case of any leaks. You know, they can't spill over the sides of this floating floor. I feel like I'm being just a really healthy, healthy amount of paranoid. I ended up having a few little mistakes that I'd have to cover up and I used just some extra of my, my acoustical sealant because it, it dries to a nice white paintable color. I sort of just covered up my mistakes. I got a paint that was really, really close in color to my floor and I just, I just painted over the, the ugly sealant. I finished. I finished the floor. I finished the floor and I'm so happy. It only took me like four or five weeks. Oh my God, it was so hard to do. The reason for that um, is because I can only do stuff like this in tiny, tiny little snippets of my day. You know, when the kids are napping or the kids are asleep or miraculously, I don't have tons of other chores and obligations to do. So it took me a long time, but I'm done. I'm done with the floor. Uh, I got the laminate down. I got it looking nice. I got the trim down, the cord around. I sealed it. I did my sealant, oh don't say that word, sealant. I'm not gonna say this word, cause I know people would do terrible things with those sound bites. I know you, I know you. Like I'm pretty much ready to move in. Floor is complete. I really like how the light floor really brightened it up in here. It's nice, it's waterproof for a lot of the projects that I do that I feature on my other channel, Simply Betta. But as for the soundproofing, it's made a difference. It's not like perfect, true soundproofing, there's definitely a lot to it. And you do that in the building stage of a room. This one, I'm just trying to retrofit an existing floor into something that's just it better. I went ahead and I did another sound test like I did at the beginning of this video where I played something really loud up here. I measured the decibels. I went downstairs and I just sat there and I measured the decibels again. And using just my ears, judging whether or not it made a difference from last time. And I feel like it did. The noises were a lot more muffled. They, it sounded like a party going on, but wait, but further away and less crystal clear. And that's exactly what I wanted. It's made an impact and that makes me feel good because now I don't make noises, you know, as loud as that. I don't have parties in this room when my kids are gonna be sleeping downstairs. I'm just gonna be talking lightly, uh, you know, just doing things gently, maybe playing a little light music, but that's it. And I feel like that shouldn't bother the kids at all. That's a big deal. So now what I'm gonna do next is, you know, it's very empty, it's very echoey in here still. I, I'm gonna make or buy, I'm not sure yet, some panels to go on this wall here. Um, I might have like a rug down here just to absorb some of the echo. I have some bare wall, you know, back there behind my lights and just some places that I can put some paneling up. My floor might be practically done, but my booth isn't. I'm still waiting on some new doors. I made an order and I'm just waiting for them to get to me, just some basic solid doors. And then after the doors are here and I'm happy with them, I'll be working on the inside of my booth. So that should be coming up not too, not too long, not too far now. The booth build's gonna be really fun because I am starting from zero knowledge. I don't do this kind of stuff on my own. I go to a studio and I have someone else do it for me, usually. <laughs> so, it's time to be a little more independent. It's time to learn how to properly do audio. Don't tease me, don't you tease me. As I wait for the doors to come, I can take some next steps. I need some internet in here so I can move my computer in here. I can make my streaming setup because I have a stream planned uh, with a friend soon and I, I have like 10 days to just get ready for it. So that's the next big thing, I'm pretty excited for it. Ah! I hope that with this very convenient 
booth, studio booth that I'm trying to make, I can get some more gigs. I can get some more voice acting roles. I think that'd be really fun. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this this floor project and this soundproofing project was interesting, at least. I can't wait to get this booth going. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Tabby Tabaxi, and I'll see you next time.